Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryan from Aquamaniacs and today I'm bringing a new video on a flower horn's heavy infestation of internal parasites. So as you guys know that Neymar was suffering from heavy infestation of internal parasites. Now heavy infestation of internal parasites, I mean to say that your fish has been suffering from internal parasites for a long time. You are medicating it, but you still see white feces, white poop whatever you want to call it and it just keeps floating in your tank some or somewhere even in little uh, amounts so how do you get rid of that we will be talking about that later in the video watch the video till the very end if you want to gain knowledge on this topic because not many people know how to actually and properly diagnose uh, internal parasites so we are going to i'm going to give you a tip on how to treat it i'm going to give you the medication you can watch my deworming videos also after this video and I will be telling you what happens when your fish is suffering from internal parasites heavily. So let's get started without any delay. Now internal parasites actually do major 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 harm to your flower horn or any other fish that is suffering from it. And you should medicate it immediately no matter if you have time or you don't just let your friend do it or you do it. Deworm the fish. I have given a deworming video. There is a medicine that I supply which I get from my breeder personally. I can give you that medicine. I've mentioned the cost etc etc in this video. You can go and search. I'll give the link of that video in the description. So now let me tell you what happens. The fatalities is very very drastic. So actually internal parasites cause harm firstly to the fish is intestinal tracts its stomach etc etc and if you don't treat it that comes to the second last stage if it comes to the second last stage it reaches to its you can say head or its uh, first it attacks its eye usually usually it uh, gets to the retina and makes its lens completely uh, you can say blurry kind of thing so once you see a cloudy eye not from outside from inside the black portion of the eye will be very cloudy as you can see it's jet black right now it won't be like that it'll be it'll start getting cloudy so that's the second last stage or you can say entering the last stage even if you deworm your fish in that very moment you can still save your fish's eye and your fish so once you go to the third stage your fish will get blind it does not happen in all the cases but it happens in most cases according to me so your fish's retina will go cloudy and it will turn blind First with one eye, then the other eye, and then it'll hit the brain, and then you will lose your fish. So parasites are these parasites are very uh, cause fatality in even other pets such as dogs, cats, etc. And I have seen that happening because I do train dogs also, and I ha had many dogs. Now I have just one, and even she had an internal parasite uh, problem but that was very hard to you know know or find that she was suffering from internal parasites the doctors could not figure it out after blood test etc etc so even she has very light vision now the parasites got to her eye so i'm not going to talk about my dog anymore let's get back to the fish and this is a very fatal uh you can say disease it's not good at all people do often rely on deworming nowadays i just want to let you guys know that even deworming can cause major major harms to the fish's internal organs. You know, maybe sometime you're putting the syringe or the straw or the pipe into the fish's mouth and you're touching its organs, maybe, you know, grazing it or some or something. You will not know the damage caused immediately, but you know it's caused later on when your fish dies without any re cause or reason. So try to avoid deworming non-stop. Just don't rely on the medicines. Try to keep your water clean. Try to feed good quality food. Don't feed live food. If you want to feed live food, it's your risk and it's very, very risky. I don't usually prefer live food. Neither I do fish, uh, feed my fishes live food very often. It's very seldom. So, you know, that's a precaution to take. And deworming, sometimes you can kill it, kill your fish with heavy dose or overdose, etc, etc and once you keep on deworming your fish you know even the parasites are going to adapt and build their immunity stronger uh, to the medication you're 
giving the fish and it will persist for more longer time so the parasites are going to you know resist that medicine and just continue the life cycle so that's what happens actually to the fish and how do you medicate the fish well if your flower horn is heavily infestated with internal parasites you keep on seeing white feces here and there around the tank even after deworming like you know after 15 days and stuff the fish is still eating but you can see red poop and white feces at the same time or very stringy and there's kind of a reddish liquid coming out so that is all because of internal parasites and that is not completely gone from your fish and even your tank so i do supply those medicines for internal parasites you can check out my uh, videos earlier on deworming i have posted that i will give the link in the description after the uh, i make this video so do watch that and if you want the medicine you can contact me in the whatsapp group and those medicines are really helpful well metronidazole people rely on people don't know that metronidazole is an uh, antibiotic based uh, internal bacterial you know and uh, it can save your fish from mild internal bacterial infections but it's not going to save your fish from internal parasites internal parasites you need at least cz clear or the medicine i supply which i get from my breeder you can get that from me or if you get cz clear in your local pet shop you can use that as well that is a very light medicine you might have to deworm your fish three to four times but this medicine is like you just deworm it once the job might get done or you might have to deworm it twice but you have to do that double triple times with cz clear so now let me tell you the medication you just have to deworm your fish once with the with, with the medication i supply i do it that way i do it once if i see there are no white feces the fish is head and color is coming back then i do not deworm it again and if i see that not happening the fish is still lethargic the fish is still dull in color and you can see the fins are still clamped so i guess that it needs another deworming because parasites make you feel uneasy it makes the fish fish feel uneasy and it's not going to flare it's not going to do anything it's going to swim dully like that maybe now and then it's going to splash around the tank but that doesn't mean your fish is back to normal so i will advise you to deworm it again and if you still again see that the symptoms are of internal parasites then i suggest you to deworm it again but make i want to uh, make one thing clear to you guys i often get this question frequently asked even after mentioning mentioning it in all my deworming videos you cannot deworm a flower on fish over and over again like in one day's interval you have to wait at least seven to ten days you are going to kill your fish damage its organs inside and maybe you're going to kill it on the spot or maybe it's going to die after 10 to 15 days and don't blame the medicine don't blame the video after that because i have mentioned and i am mentioning it in this video do not deworm your fish if you have done the deworming wrong you know there may be one two drops still going into your fish's stomach and if you deworm it again after one day thinking that oh i have done the deworming wrong then you're going to kill your fish with overdose so wait for seven days and then deworm your fish or at least five days don't immediately deworm your fish okay that's one thing so that's basically it uh this is a very fatal uh, disease in a flower horn fish uh following with hexamia hexamia is also caused by a different type of parasite but it starts with internal parasite i can tell you and if a fish is suffering from internal parasites over and over again i guess your fish in future might suffer with hexamia so I will make a video on hexamia completely, a completely de uh, detailed video uh, in future. And another video will be coming up on Neymar and his treatments and what I have done to save its save his, save his life. So definitely stay tuned if you want the medicine. Uh, come to the WhatsApp group, message me. I will give you the medicine. It usually takes seven days to reach any part of India, and the cost and all are mentioned in the previous video deworming video so that's basically it for now guys if you have any question doubts etc etc please mention it in the whatsapp group or in the comments down below don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you are new and if you have friends who are keeping fishes whether it's a molly whether it's a guppy 
or flower horn fish or arowana definitely show them this video okay that's it for now guys peace